Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Today we are talking about a 19-year-old that was drafted recently coming out of Lithuania. He is currently playing for the Bulls at 6 foot 10. We are talking about Matas Buzelis. We're talking about this number 14 right here. We're going to discuss his pros and cons. We're going to look at defense and offense, in particular his one-on-one -on -one defense, and in particular his driving and his shooting. We're going to get into what, what my overall thoughts are on his potential future, upsides, downsides. Let's start with the area that I'm most optimistic about, and that is his driving and or cutting. I'll include this in the same thing. His ability to get to the rim or get to the paint is very, very effective. So he's got a long body, obviously, and he uses his body very well to create little gaps and openings to essentially get past the defense. Okay, so as this ball is going to get swung, we can see this is just a simple concept, as if the defender is trying to make it so you can't go a certain way, he simply reads it in back cuts. This is a big part of driving and or cutting is understanding what the defense is giving you and being able to essentially maneuver around it. So then this gives him one-on-one -on -one with a big, and he, although he is also very long, he is going to be more athletic than the majority of players in this situation. And he does, oh, that's so, it's so high level. Okay, so he comes down here. And the thing that he has that his defender doesn't have is he has momentum. Okay, so he is the one going downhill. He is moving quicker. So essentially all he has to do is he has to be able to essentially get just a little bit of separation. And because he has really long arms and the ability to control the ball and control his body. He can use that to get an edge. So like right here, like they were even moments ago and he just had to get a slight edge because the defender was not moving the same direction as him. And he uses his right arm just to create a little bit of contact and extend with that left arm out. That is such a nice finish. I absolutely love this finish. This is like, he makes this, which is very complicated against a long defender, looks so easy and that is so so high level all right so as this ball is going to be pushed in transition we are going to looking to see matas and how he goes downhill okay, no defender really steps up and his first thought is to attack which 100 percent agree with okay this again is a very long defender and so one interesting thing here is the defender like when he goes up to block this he's on the wrong side of the rim which is why he gets caught on the rim and so i would honestly prefer probably I mean Matas tries to I think dunk it over him I would probably if I was coaching him I would probably say put your body into him first and then finish with the outside hand but that being said it does result in a foul so it was a productive drive real quick in the middle right here if you're enjoying this feel free to like subscribe we're going to transition to his defense and so one of the big questions for his defense is going to be how can he handle physically bigger and stronger players like, I mean, he's 19. Like, if you're going against 24-plus-year-olds, like, they're going to be stronger than you almost exclusively. And so he does a good job closing out and gets his body in the way in this situation right here. However, the offensive player is essentially able to put his shoulder into him and move him pretty aggressively right here. Like, there's not a whole lot of resistance led right there. You can see, obviously, 37 is much, much bigger, like, physically bigger than Matas. And so I do definitely anticipate him getting much stronger as time goes on. And he does a good job here getting his body in the way. And he's able to actually cut him off much more aggressively here. 37 is a little bit less emphatic with the drive. So as the ball gets swung around again, we're going to see the same matchup. Okay, so I don't think the issue is not going to be with foot speed or keeping his body in between. It's just going to be a question of somewhat of physicality. And so here... Again, he gets moved back kind of it, and he uses, I mean, this is, I mean, good awareness from his part. He uses his length to kind of combat this as he meets that ball up on the top. Now, I mean, that's good defense despite having like a 50-pound disadvantage. And then so one of the questions is what happens when he gets mashed on somebody that's a little bit quicker? And so here he gets mashed on the point guard right here, and he's able to stay in front of him very effectively. So... He is, like, for being 6'10", he is very quick. And he's got, like, if there's a little bit of separation, he's got length where he can combat that very, very effectively. And so I am, as far as his defense goes, I'm very optimistic. As far as his on-ball defense goes, I'm very optimistic. Didn't see enough of him as a rim protector, really, so I don't know if that's going to be a, a facet of his game. 
However, him being able to stay in front of bigger dudes and him being able to stay in front of quicker dudes is a very good sign. And then finally we get to what I think is the most important aspect, probably for his long-term development, and that's his ability to uh, shoot the ball. Okay, so we're going to look at some shooting, in particular the three-point line, and then also some non-three-pointer shots, just jump shots in general. Okay, so first off, we see Matas over here in the corner. As this ball is going to get swung around, we're going to see the defender gambles for a bit. Okay, so this leaves him open. So the first thing is neither player closes out to him. That's the first thing that I not like I don't like that like maybe that's just the defense being lackadaisical but it's possible the defense doesn't think he can shoot and the worst thing is not whether you can or can't shoot it's whether the defense thinks you can shoot so if the defense doesn't think you can shoot I don't like that whatsoever okay so obviously he misses that three and honestly there's not a huge amount of stats I believe from what I could see he's shot in 28 percent loosely for his career but obviously he's super young so that can get much better and hopefully, hopefully does. Hopefully he's spending a lot of time working on his shooting in particular. Okay, again, ball gets swung around. And so it's good that he's not hesitating because that shows confidence. However, he's got to be able to hit it at 35% for this to be an effective thing. Otherwise, the defense is going to be simply okay with this shot. While he misses it, I do like the confidence and the willingness to shoot this, especially in the summer leagues. Probably the right, the right thing to shoot, honestly. However, before getting fully on board, that is definitely one thing I'm going to heavily watch is how well he shoots three-pointers. Okay, so we have him coming off this double stagger here. This is one area I was in particular very fond of. Is he's got very good A, like that's good ball control right there, period. But he's got good awareness of what the time and situation calls for. And I like his ability to stop and start in certain directions. And then that, I'm a huge fan of of using shot picks to create open opportunities. I showed this with the Zachary Sache video a little bit. But there, just get the defender off balance, and he draws fouls very, very well in that kind of situation. I'm personally a huge believer that the defense should, like I, Porter Moser said, leave your feet second. I think it was something like jump second was his phrase at Loyola Chicago, and I absolutely love that. If the defender leaves their feet, punish them. And Montas does a great job of taking advantage of defense when they're in the wrong position. And I, I love that. Okay, so again, we're seeing good ball movement. Like, I like the ability there. And then what's that? The simple thing is use a shot fake when the defense is expecting you to shoot and get them out of position. Like, is that going to fly by like that? Are you kidding me? Like, what are you going to block his mid-range jumper right there? Just let him shoot if he's going to do it. But it winds up being an open shot for him. And so while he misses that, again, I like the control and the being able to shoot that shot or being able to get the defender off balance very much. And so if I had to summarize what I, my thoughts on my thoughts would be, I would say offensive driving, I'm very, very optimistic for. Very, very optimistic. Defense one-on-one, -on -one, I'd say I'm optimistic for. I think he's decent now and he's probably only going to get better. He has good awareness. What's, he's got good awareness, good feet, keeps it in front, and then is able to also make sure he's able to block players that have more weight and more strength on him, which is a good sign. And then the biggest question mark, I, I'd say, is shooting. So I really like his ability to shot fake. Really, really a huge fan of it. The biggest question mark is his threes. Are his threes going to be more and more versatile, get better and better, and that allow his shot fake to be better? And in the meantime, that was a hell of a dunk. Holy smokes. And so his athletic ability and his youth, I think, make him a very optimistic prospect. And I'm excited to see it what the next year or the next couple of years holds for Matas Buzelis. If you enjoyed this, I did a video on Zachary Rissache. I'll post it right here. If you also enjoyed this, feel free to like and subscribe.